This is the Shakespeare Catch More Fish 8 foot spinning outfit. Now this kit is designed for spinning in fresh water, particularly when you're targeting predators such as zander, pike and perch, and also trout and salmon. So the rod supplied is this 8 foot spinning rod, and we've got a 40 size reel loaded with 8 pound line. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to set the rod up. So the first thing that we need to do with this kit is remove the plastic cover from the spool and then the line as you can see is trapped by this line clip so we need to remove the line from that line clip. Now on the reel you've got this device which is called the bail arm and that enables you to cast and then retrieve. So by opening the bail arm that will allow line to come off the spool and I'm going to need to do that to thread the line through the rod rings. So what I'm going to do is just carefully thread the line through the rod rings, ensuring that I get the line through the very centre of the guide, not round the frame, which would cause problems with casting and also damage the line. So I've very quickly threaded the line through the rings, and I'm going to knock the bail arm over. So basically, that now is ready to go. I'm just going to quickly mention a few features about the reel. So I've already discussed the bail arm. We've got on our reels what we call a rear drag and that drag tension knob there adjusts the pressure of the clutch on the spool. So you need to bear in mind how to adjust that to the conditions that you're fishing with and the breaking strain of the line. The idea being that if you hook a big fish and it runs, instead of the line breaking the line will pull off the reel. So that's the drag system. And we've also got one other quick feature to explain and that's this lever on the bottom of the reel. And that's the instant anti-reverse on off switch. So when it's on, like in this position, the reel won't reel backwards, it'll only reel forwards. When it's off, you can reel backwards and forwards. Now for most of your fishing you'll find that you're better off with it in the on position, it'll help you reduce tangles. So there you go, that's all about the reel and the rod. Now let's have a little bit more of a look, a detailed look at the tackle box and all the components included with it. So as I mentioned, this kit is supplied with a really good quality tackle box. The first thing you've got to do is remove these retaining clips that allow the tackle box to be fixed to the rod during transit. And then you can open the clips to access the tackle box. Now the tackle box comes supplied with three Devil's Own lures. Now we've obviously selected these lures to marry up to the type of fishing that you're going to be doing when you're spinning in fresh water. So we've got this jet fighter spinner from our Devil's Own range which weighs 8 grams that's going to be perfectly suited for catching smaller predators like perch and zander and maybe even smaller pike. Then you step up to this scale spinner which weighs 16 grams so the heavier weight will enable you to cast further but also the bigger lure will attract in many cases bigger fish. And then finally I've got this uh, striper spoon which is a different kind of lure and one that works really well for, for bigger pike but also salmon and trout. So you've got a great selection of lures with this combo. Also supplied in the, in the kit We've got some barrel swivels, which will be very useful in conjunction with your smaller spinners. We've got some heavier duty snap swivels that will come into their own when you're pike fishing and using bigger lures for bigger fish. And finally, you've got three wire traces that are absolutely essential when you're pike fishing. So I'm now gonna take you through how to rig up some of these different spinners and give you some tips related to spinning in fresh water. Okay, so the first rig I'm going to show you is just a basic spinning rig that you can utilize with these smaller spinners like this 8 gram jet stream spinner when you're fishing for, for pike and zander, small, small perch, also trout and salmon. So this really is a very simple rig and it's one that's going to utilize the barrel swivels. So the first job to do is to tie the barrel swivel onto the main line and to do that I just use a simple half blood knot 
So twist in the line six or seven times round, back through the loop. I always like to wet the line when you're pulling it tight to reduce the friction and that will actually help keep the, the braking strain of the line. I just remove the tag. Now we're going to need to fish with a hook length below the swivel and in this case I'm just going to cut the main line around about 40 centimetres up from that swivel and then I'm going to retie that onto the main line with the same half blood knot. So it's a very simple rig. Now we use the swivel because that eliminates twist from the line that can occur when you're spinning. Obviously as the spinner's spinning through the water it can twist the line. So that's why we incorporate a swivel whenever we can into this rig. And I'm going to select that 8 gram jet fighter and attach that with the same half blood knot onto the eye of the spinner. Okay, so there you go, what could be simpler? That's a fantastic rig for spinning in a lot of different situations. Now obviously if I wanted to change to the bigger version I could easily cut that off and tie that on as well. And the next rig I'm going to show you utilises the bigger spoon type of lure. Okay, so in this case I'm going to form another hook length by attaching that half blood knot again. Okay, and instead of tying directly to the lure, I'm actually going to use one of these snap swivels as well. And I'm going to tie that onto the bottom of the hook length. A couple of reasons for that, because I'm using a heavier duty lure, this will give me more strength, but also it will enable me to switch and change the lures very effectively. That's the idea of this snap swivel. So by opening the swat, the uh, wire on that swivel, I can simply hook it through the eye on the lure and there you go, you've got a very strong and reliable junction to the lure and one that will eliminate the spin that I talked about. So in this case I've utilised the second swivel as well but you might decide to go direct onto that and that's something that you can do. I think it's worth mentioning at this point about hook lengths. Now a hook length in many cases is designed to be a lower braking strain than the main line. And that's when you need to invest in different spools of line to enable you to create different types of hook lengths. So that's just a point worth mentioning. In order to dictate the line braking strain to the lure that you're fishing, you might need to incorporate some lower braking strain hook length material. But in this case, I'm going direct with the 12 pound line that's supplied with this outfit. So that's a wonderful rig for catching bigger pike and also salmon and sea trout in rivers. Okay, so I think I'll give you a few tips now relating to just general spinning in fresh water. Obviously, um, spinners and lures are designed to be retrieved back through the water. So basically, you're casting out and you're retrieving the lure back through the water. Now, you need to think about adjusting the speed of that retrieve to the conditions that you're faced with and also the depth of the water. So you'll see that when you're fishing at range, where you need to cast a long way, these heavier lures come into their own. And if you need to fish deeper, you need to let the lure sink and then retrieve it back slowly. If you're fishing in a, a smaller river or lake where it's not so deep, then you need to retrieve quicker. So these kind of lures have a, a wobble effect in the water that proves irresistible to bigger predators. Whereas the spinners spin attractively in the water and that really attracts fish from all different sizes, so from small perch, big perch, sander, even bigger pike and trout and salmon. So that's just worth mentioning about the different types of lures available and you want to build up a good selection of lures to encounter different situations. Okay, so this very versatile kit is also supplied with three wire traces. Now these wire traces come into their own when you're fishing for fish with teeth basically, so bigger pike and it couldn't be simpler again. Basically each wire trace is supplied with a, a rolling swivel on one side 
and a snap swivel on the other. So what we're going to do is we're just going to attach that rolling swivel direct to the main line with that half blood knot. There you go. Then I'm going to attach this striper spoon to the snap swivel so that again you've got a very strong and reliable junction between the wire trace and the lure and also one that means that you can change the lures quickly. That's a good point actually because you'll find sometimes that fish could be in a different mood. They might take a spoon over a spinner or vice, but vice versa. We might want to change over to one of our devil's own plugs. So that's why this rig is so versatile and also as you can see with that wire incorporated when you do get a take from a bigger fish like a pike it won't be able to cut through the line with its teeth. It won't be able to cut through this wire leader. So that's why we use these wire traces when we're fishing for pike. So there you go, that's a basic introduction to the Shakespeare Catch More Fish spinning outfit.